Greetings, beloved friends of the light. It is I, known as the Goddess of Liberty, that is with you today. And with me, I bring forth the love and the greetings from the other 12 goddesses who I serve with in your spiritual hierarchy. And if you will just still yourself for a moment, invite yourself to open and receive and take a deep breath. I call upon my divine sisters, the goddesses, to come into your lives and to fill you and charge you, flood your feeling side of life, your minds with their divine qualities. I call upon my sisters, the goddess of peace, the goddess of purity, the goddess of harmony, the goddess of justice, the goddess of victory, the goddess of hope, the goddess of faith, the goddess of love, the goddess of light, the goddess of unity, and the goddess of music. To come now and with me, I, Liberty, to pour unto each of you mighty waves of determination and desire that may gracefully empower the resurrection of your lives into your greater God consciousness the greater Christ consciousness that each of you may generate that greater light and love that the world so requires at this time. Perhaps some of you have heard that I am the one who stood before George Washington in that war before he became the first president. I am the one who stood before him in the very troubled hour of that war and gave him three visions. Three visions of three challenges that America would face in the visions. The first two challenges, the light of God revealed that America would survive. What was not revealed was whether America would survive the third challenge. Since that vision was given George Washington, who is now ascended and free, with the good people of America and the world, those who have consciously turned towards the light, those who have decreed for divine intervention from the ascended realms, the angelic host, thus far, that third vision, which revealed the potential collapse of America, thus far has been prevented. What is before you and the good people of the world is what we see as one final attempt to bring about 
the collapse of America and create a global one world government in which the light of God reveals would then bring forth the collapse of humanity and civilization upon your planet. I say to you, precious friends of the light, it is through people like you, and the few that came before you since the early 1900s, the few that heard the mighty words from the great God of freedom and through his teachings, mighty Saint Germain, many faced the light of their own divinity, discovered their higher selves called the I am presence, discovered that in the fifth dimension of earth, our great ascended and angelic realms. And through the teachings of Saint Germain, the original teachings, many early Americans, and then it spread around the world, studied the master's teachings, discovered their own higher selves, the I am presence, discovered the reality of angels and ascended beings, and in their personal lives took the time to call to us that we, their ascended and angelic host, might fill them with light, and many of those called to us to release enough of the cosmic light and the sacred fire to preserve what is constructive and to hold in abeyance those destructive energies that have long sought to bring about the downfall of America. It is through people like yourselves who lived in the early 1900s and throughout that century and yourselves who live now. It is through all of you who turn towards the light, discovered your own God nature and divinity, discovered your family of angels ascended masters and great cosmic beings that live in the greater dimensions of earth and in your galaxy and by their and your love and call to us we have been able to provide enough light to some of the good people of the world and enough of the sacred fire to thwart previous attempts to bring down America. That third vision thus far has been prevented. What is happening in your world now is what we determine and see another attempt to bring down America. And we know that as another seventh golden age has been granted the people of Earth, that this attempt to bring down America and then the world by a sinister force that tragically has too many pawns in your world. We know 
that this final attempt will not succeed. What we do not know is how many people in the world will suffer this last attempt of the sinister force. We do not know at this moment how many lives will be lost. But we do know that what America and the people of the world are facing in the current viral storm is just the beginning. Of those who serve the sinister force, your own people have identified and given them names such as the Illuminati or the Cabal. No precious hearts, this will be their last attempt. And we desire in the ascended realms through your lives and assisting you in your lives we now desire and we are ready to render a service to America and the world with the current viral storm that is in your world. There is a lot of speculation and discussion of the truth or the non-truth of what is behind this storm speculation and discussion that we are watching amongst the people of potential harmful energies from harmful artificial intelligence 5G technologies, and more. We are watching a lively speculation, debate, and discussion of potential sinister plots against the people of Earth, and more. And this is a good thing a good thing, a good discussion for the people to be having. As has already been stated, all of you, your lives come with great purpose. And perhaps the moment has arrived in which the greatest of purpose and service that each of you shall offer has now come. Truth sayers are showing up, trying to reveal what has been hidden. And as soon as they make attempts to reveal, then there are those who serve destructive means and goals and ends who will come along and try to discredit the truth-sayers. As has been said by Mother Akasha and others of the Ascended Host who have graciously come forth in these broadcasts, all those who will speak the truth all those who will guide the good people of earth through all various speculations and discussions of what is true and what is not. These ones will have our protection.
so that the good people of earth will take back their God inheritance and God power and God love of freedom. What is going on in your world at this hour is the result of long-standing duality and as Mother Akasha has often stated that your third dimension of your planet Earth is more likened to a matrix now where good and evil seems to be playing itself out right before your eyes. <coughs> Yet, I say to each of you, with enough light and the power of love that is acting in enough of the people, then the people, with the assistance of the truth-sayers, with the assistance of their own inner God discernment, will discern the truth of all that is being speculated, debated, and discussed in your world. Now, beloved precious hearts, I remind you that the Ascended Masters can use the power of cosmic light rays and the sacred fire. And the more you invite us, the more you command us to use these powers to come into the lower atmosphere of your world then we can use a variety of cosmic light rays and the sacred fire to continue to hold in abeyance as much as we can the destructive powers in the world that are now making their attempt to gain global dominion. I remind you, precious hearts, since the year in your world, 2012, your earth and her people have been granted another golden age. And since 2012, you are only eight years into this new golden age. And just like before, when there have been golden ages where divine intervention has assisted the good people of earth to rise up and out of discord and return to the light, we have watched and we have seen that in the beginning of every golden age, the first 15 years are the most challenging. And you are eight years into this new golden age. Again and again in every pre previous golden age, in the first 15 years, we have seen shadows, those who hate the light, those who hunger for power due to their greed have created many problems and catastrophes the people have had to face. Now, precious hearts, Your world, your people, 
in which this hour has arrived must have greater divine intervention from the angelic host, from the ascended host, from their own divine side of life. Yet for that intervention to come, for it to be maintained, there must be enough of the people who are willing to maintain greater self-control and to stop sending out from their feelings any discordant energies. If the people of Earth will acknowledge in greater numbers the presence and power of God in their hearts, if the people of Earth in greater numbers will reach up and call to their I am presence, their highest self, and the ascended and angelic host to come into your lower atmosphere to use the powers of our cosmic light rays and our sacred fire such as my own cosmic blue flame of purity and power or Saint Germain's violet purifying flames then we can come and we can protect what is constructive and we can purify or remove that which is destructive. As all in our ascended family would remind you, the people must use their own free will and reach up to their ascended and angelic family commanding new dispensations for cosmic intervention that then allows us to come into your world and provide that intervention for all life. I, Liberty, offer to each of you into your feelings and into your own heart and into your own thoughts. I offer to each of you my love of liberty, my love of freedom. And if you will allow, if you will invite my love of liberty and freedom to come into your own feeling side of life, this will help you. This will increase in you. Those mighty waves of sheer determination to continue to grow your love of liberty, your love of freedom, and your own great God command that all the people on earth shall come to love and know and experience greater liberty and freedom, especially at this hour. We in the ascended realms, we are seeking greater permission from the great cosmic being who oversees the ascended master realms known as the great divine director or the director logos. And we are requesting divine intervention from him
in which, through the power of our light rays, our sacred fire, the time may come now. That the destructive qualities sent out by some of humankind must now immediately return upon those who send those energies out. The hour has arrived. Where the activity of cosmic light must overlight those who are constructive and give them the means to reveal to the people of earth devious and sinister plans that are presently unfolding against the people. And therefore, beloved precious hearts, to all who are people of faith, in religion or spiritual paths. For the greatest assistance we can provide each of you, must each of you be willing to generate greater love in your homes, in your communities, out into the world, and into the powers of nature. Enough of the people of Earth to offset the sinister plans. Enough of the people of Earth must generate the highest vibrations of energy, of light, and love into their worlds. As Mother Akasha said in her Tree of Life class this past Wednesday, a truth. That truth being, you cannot escape the vibration of yourself except through practice change of your thoughts and feelings. And considering the destructive energies and vibrations that are trying to overcome the people of Earth, this is a wise statement to remind yourself of and therefore to take action. You cannot escape the vibrations of yourself except through practiced change of your thoughts and feelings. This, dear friends, this you can accomplish by living what the tree of life teaches are the three ascension attitudes of love, praise, and gratitude. Adjusting, improving the vibrations of yourself can be accomplished by studying principles of truth that the ancient tree of life teachings reveal. This change and increase of greater light and love in your vibrations, this too, you can accomplish through faith, through prayer, and meditation. And therefore, if you will remember me, I, the goddess of liberty,
if you will make a determination within yourself that you shall love and respect liberty and freedom for yourself and for all the people of earth I will help you raise your vibrations and God in you and above you can raise the vibrations of your energy system too And then your vibration, your energy, becomes much greater than any destructive energies in the world, whether they are sent out by people's evil intent or whether they are destructive energies that are sent out through various technologies. Be conscious, beloved hearts. Be conscious that you can become an untouchable presence of God. This too is in your path. And to become an untouchable presence of God means that all the wrong and destructive energies that are in your world can no longer touch you. And with sheer determination to be the light of God that never fails. The love of God that always fulfills. And with the flagship of liberty and freedom singing in your heart. Then I, liberty, and my sisters the goddesses. We will come and we will hold our cosmic light. We will hold our sacred fire around you. And more beloved hearts, if there be that moment in which There is wrong government enforcement that will seek to come over the people. We can even hold you invisible to any wrong government enforcement. Do you know, precious heart, that if just one percent, one percent of humanity practiced generating enough love out from them, out from their hearts, out from their heart flames. If enough, if even one percent of humanity generates enough love out into the world, That love can save your world. And therefore, I propose to you, considering that I have dared to reveal a little bit more of what is going on in your octave. I trust that you appreciate that your life, your light, your love is required to do your part to save your world. And therefore, I would encourage Each of you, every day, and if you wish to see it as a sacrifice or a service, that will be up to you. 
Yet I am asking you that every day around 12 noon, wherever 12 noon arrives in the time zone that you live, that you would take 10 minutes and you would pour your love. That you would pour your love to all the people of earth. That you would pour your love to all the kingdoms that share life with you upon your earth. That you would pour your love to the powers of nature, the forces of the elements, the great mountain kingdom, the tree kingdom, and more. And that you even would do what perhaps many have thought was an unreasonable request of Jesus Christ. That instead of sending out ill feelings to people that you might disagree with, to people that you might discern are your enemies, that you will take up what most have considered an unreasonable request of Jesus Christ. That being that you would love your enemies. That you would pour love to them. Knowing what the power of love has to do in its ability to free everyone and especially those who have something sinister acting in their love, their lives. So that is what I offer you. If you shall so choose to take this up, that you will Whenever 12 noon arrives in your time zone, that you would take 10 minutes and pour your love to the world. My goodness, if we could get 1% of the people of earth doing this, that would be sufficient. But the Christ that has long been hidden within each of you come forth and truly be the great Savior in this world. You are all wonderful and loving Jesus Christ. Yet in your wonderfulness, realize that Christ is not a person. It is a state of consciousness. And the Christ has been like an inner quiet child deep within your consciousness. It is time to welcome the inner Christ flame, the inner Christ consciousness, the inner Christ soul from deep within the chambers of your being to flourish in your lives. It is time, beloved hearts, to dare to be bold, to fulfill your destiny, each of you to become the individualization of God in the life you have been given. I have before me two questions that were sent to me. One question regards when I spoke five years ago at a conclave of the Academy in Vancouver 
that I spoke of a divine plan whose time had come for the protection of the three Americas and then the world, that I would lead mighty legions of angels of the cosmic blue flame, and that we would plant the seeds that would become a mighty cosmic blue flame grid within the surface of the three Americas that would extend throughout the world. The whole idea is that when the divine time would come, that this grid of cosmic blue flames, when it is turned on, those flames and their plumes would would tower taller than people. That when they would become active, then anyone who is about to commit a destructive action against another or the people will be stopped immediately by those cosmic blue flames. And they will not be able to even move until the proper authorities arrive to prevent their crimes. The question is, what is the status of my cosmic blue flame grid? How high is it? Is it necessary to continue the decree that I offered a few years ago and to visualize these flames? Well, beloved hearts, I say to you, my cosmic blue flame grid has fully matured and it's simply when. This is a mighty divine intervention. And the divine director who oversees us, he is the one who decides the moment that such cosmic intervention becomes active. He has access to the all-seeing eye of God and knows that precipitous moment when to hold, 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 and then release. My cosmic blue flame, it is fully matured, and I am simply waiting the permission from the great divine director. To those of you who might wish to take up that mighty decree for my cosmic blue flame grid protection throughout the Americas and then the world, if you wish to take up this decree, well, of course, that would be wonderful. Perhaps that might influence the director to compel those cosmic blue flames to be made active. Yet he and only he knows the moment from the Ascended Master's point of view, we understand. We in the Ascended Angelic Host, we do not destroy evil. We wait for that moment in which evil destroys itself. Our part is to provide enough protection around all that and all those who are trying to live constructive lives. 
I thank you. The second question that was sent to me This individual writes that the Department of Defense in the United States has released a purchase order for 500 million injection syringes that support a micro dot digital chip that could be injected into billions of people on the planet as a satellite ID tracking system. Is this the plan for love, wisdom, justice, and divine power? Of course it is not. The question, how does humanity and the hierarchy restore the 3D, it restore the plan in 3D, where power has no goodwill and love for humanity. What is humanity to do? What I can say, beloved heart, this is your matrix. And there's a lot of speculation and discussion around vaccines and all of this. It is up to the truth sayers in your world to assist the people, to discern the truth, know the truth. It is up to the great God discernment in each of you to determine what is constructive and what is not. And when your people determine the truth, and if they determine that some activity is destructive, then, if the people turn their attention to God, to the ascended and angelic host, to come in and intervene, to use our powers to either stop what is suggested in this question, around the creation of 500 million injection syringes. An intervention to either stop this or we work through constructive people. We work through the lives of truth savers, sayers. We offer our protection and through them fire the people awake to find their voice and command their governments to stop any wrong action against the people. So here again, I remind you, you are the authority in your octave You decide in your hearts that the truth prevail, that the people find their voice, and know that the governments are there to serve them, not to be wrong powers of enforcement. And it is when the good people take their stand then, with their invitation, we come and we use our powers to hold back in abeyance what is planned destruction and to bring forth the protection of all that is constructive and all those who are constructive. I am liberty, and I love to spread my flame of liberty. May you invite my flame of liberty 
to become one with the great love flame that abides in your heart. And we shall see in each of you the strength of God, the love of liberty and freedom that will stop the current plans of a sinister force in your world. Through each of you and the millions, the tens of millions of people that your consciousness is influencing, we know that the shadowless light of God shall prevail in the people of earth. And the love of God that loves to fulfill itself through each of you will overcome any storms that present themselves in your world. Namaste, namaste, namaste.